Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Scotland Health Farms. We are in week seven of the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge. We're still going strong. I'm getting a little sick of <laughs> deciding what to make for dinner. I, we have tons of stuff. I just, I've got that kind of idea fatigue going on. But everyone enjoyed the meals this week. Um, tacos and goulash are two of their favorites. Although I have a problem making goulash and every time I do it, I make huge pots of goulash, which they like. So it's good, but it gets out of hand and <laughs> everyone quickly kind of got sick of eating goulash for leftovers. Um, yeah. So I have to learn how to, to do that better and cook more appropriately for that. Other than that, I mean, I've got complaints about snacks. I told you about that in another video that already came out. Although I am baking more, which I don't do that often. So they are enjoying that. I think I'm making some cookies this week, which as of this morning are all gone. So they're definitely liking that aspect. Uh, breakfast, my son is still complaining about cereal. However, when I made this last Saturday big breakfast and I made pancakes, I made sure to make a bunch extra. So those are in the fridge for the following week and those are easy for him to grab and just stick in the toaster to warm up. So he has been enjoying that and he'll have to eat eggs and toast, I guess, the rest of the week after those are gone. But next week will be our last week, so I'll be just in time and I'll be able to do a grocery haul and show you what we got then. So a welcome to our week seven pantry challenge meals. So this first meal is a lunch. My husband and three of my kids were in for lunch and I decided to make tacos. I put in taco meat and I added a can of black beans, which they won't complain about if they're added in. So I like to add in the extra protein in there. Cut up some lettuce and I have a fresh pineapple cut up. We've got some cheese we can grate on. We like pretty plain tacos. For supper that night, I just decided to do some basic egg sandwiches. So this was some sausage that was cooked up before, so I'm just heating it up in the pan. It's already cooked. I uh, did some egg whites and then put on some American cheese, and I'm just letting that melt down. I've toasted up a roll. got a little bit toasty, but it's fine. And then just putting it together, and we're serving that with some home canned pears. So I'm going to be making some goulash for lunch today. The kids are off from school and let's see my 21 year old son is here working my husband will be here um, a guy that helps us out in the winter will be here for lunch and then also one of my husband's friends because they're gonna go pick up a new tractor after lunch so I figured this would be a good time to make a big lunch this is some hot Italian sausage that we had in links from our freezer. Still trying to clear out our last year's pigs, so I figured this would be a good day to use this with more people for lunch. So I already cooked this in the Instapot from frozen actually. I cooked it about 45 minutes and it's plenty done. I just want to be able to add this in quickly once the goulash is done. So I'm going to finish cutting this up and then I'm going to move on to the goulash. I actually have the Instapot heating up with the juice that was left over from this and a container of sauce that I had left over frozen in the freezer. So I'm just trying to melt that sauce down into it right now. There it is, all chopped up. It's actually quite a bit of meat, so I'll have to see when I put in, if I wanna put in all of that or save some out, we'll see. But I am gonna put in this full dish of 
green peppers from my garden that I chopped up last year. So they're homegrown, organic. I don't use any chemicals. And I figure that'll just add some extra nutrition. Those are going in and you can see this is still that frozen chunk that I took. Um, I've just leftover sauce from the freezer. Ooh, we're gonna steam up a lot. And that's the broth left over from the sausage. I'll probably have to add some um, chicken bouillon and water in here just because it won't be enough liquid to cook the um, noodles in yet. So I'll add some extra things to that. I also have a loaf of bread that I took from the freezer. Perfectly fine. I threw it in the freezer just as is, just defrosted it. I'm going to cut that in half this way, I think, and make garlic toast out of that. And we're going to have some broccoli and cauliflower as well. Here's the goulash as it's cooking. I had to move it actually into a pot on the stove because it wasn't cooking very quickly in the Instapot on the saute function, but everything is added in. I added more sauce and some chicken broth and we're steaming up some fresh cauliflower and broccoli. I am cooking up our last two packages of pork chops from last year's pigs today. Just put a little bit of spray oil in the pan because there's plenty of fat to render down. I put some uh, pork seasoning that I just home make it's a Pinterest recipe, and I'm browning them on both sides, and then I'm going to cover them and cook them on low for probably at least a half an hour. So cover that up, and then I am going to mix up what I'm putting on top, which is actually just cream of chicken soup mix. I've had this in my pantry for quite a while and just decided it was time to use it up. I really don't use these uh, very often. I don't know. I, I just don't. I have a couple in the pantry, but I, I use them very rarely. So I'm just mixing that all up and I'm going to pour that on top of the pork chops and let them simmer. And I also made some almond, like a pound type sugar cookie to go along with it. This is a meal that I actually had made on Sunday and never videoed, but it is no peak chicken that I had put in the freezer. So I thawed that out and put it over some rice and I served it with some cauliflower and broccoli. So we are just having leftovers on this day for a quick lunch. And of course, there's some of those cookies that I made earlier with the almond glaze on top. These are always a hit. So today for lunch, I'm going to make a quick, like a turkey pot pie without the pie part. We're going to put it over some egg noodles. So i got my water going. I'm going to put my egg noodles in. And I only have two people in for lunch today, so I'm not making a huge meal. But I've got some, this was some home canned turkey broth going. And there's barely any fat in this whatsoever. So I am going to add some butter to that just to give it to, uh, some richness. I'm going to add in some of these sweet peas. I did not steam them in the bag, but they'll just cook in the broth. Rest for later. I've got my turkey meat there. It's already cooked, so I can just go in and get the heated. And I've got this ginormous can of carrots. I may have used some of those in there. I'll have to come up with some other uses for the carrots. So that turned out to be pretty quick and easy. I did add the carrots in there, um, the turkey meat that was already cooked. I did have to add a little bit more of uh, chicken bouillon just for flavor. The stock wasn't real strong. And then I think thicken that up with just a basic roux. It already had the butter in in the pot, so I just did flour and water. Thicken that into gravy and we'll serve it over the egg noodles. We are doing a quick and easy supper tonight, but one that is still well liked. I've got some grilled cheese here, nice and golden. So 
some of our apples are cut up in some fresh cucumbers and then there are two leftover cookies and we did not eat all those cookies that you saw before i actually bagged probably more than half of them up and put them in the freezer for a later date just to pull out if we have company or something so that's it that's our supper for tonight for lunch today i have some fresh cauliflower and broccoli steaming up i'm gonna get out some of these fresh not fresh <laughs> not fresh they were fresh and i canned them from last summer um pears they're well liked and then I made that goulash from the other day. It has peppers and onions and spinach in it. And I made way too much. Um, we're gonna have it for lunch again today. So that that's it, nice quick lunch. I am also making some vegan queso and I know this looks <laughs> disgusting right now and nothing like queso. However, it turns out so nice and it tastes so good on chips or pretzels you can put it on vegetables it's kind of like it has like a nacho type flavor so there's no nuts in here there is rolled oats um, roasted bread peppers some salt some cornstarch some nutritional yeast onion yeah it's a weird mixture of ingredients and obviously i just poured in boiling water but i'll show you it when it's done it is so good. I was so surprised. So this is how it looks when it's finished. Crazy, right? It looks like nacho cheese sauce and it's so healthy for you. Just oats and vegetables, a few seasonings. And when, when this is hot right now because I put boiling water in it, but once you put it in the fridge, it gets a more um, even cheese-like consistency to it I guess and then you can melt it down and put it on things or I just actually like to eat it cold on stuff too so good so easy it is now Saturday and we are doing our big Saturday morning breakfast so I'm cooking up a pound of maple breakfast sausage and then I'm also cooking up a pound of bacon now we will not all We'll not eat all this at one time, but I just don't like to dirty pans over and over again. So I'm cooking at one time and we'll have leftovers throughout the week. So I'm just separating out that bacon. You can see it has a lot of fat from it, from our pork, but that'll cook down really nicely. And my family loves bacon. So actually probably the bacon will be all eaten first and then the sausage will be left over for this week. And then I'm heating up my electric skillet here. I'm just going to spray it down with some olive oil spray. I am using up the rest of that pancake mix that I used earlier. Um, so it's just add water to it. So I'm actually going to make just some regular pancakes. And then at the end, I'm going to throw in some chocolate chips on top of some. I'm making a really big batch because my son is running out of breakfast because I won't buy any cereal yet. And so I figured these would be quick and easy to keep in the fridge and he can just put them either in the microwave or the toaster in the morning. I have some people who like plain and some people who like chocolate chips. So I'm gonna make a big batch of these up. You can see the bubbles coming up and they're the perfect time to flip them all over nice and golden brown the rest of my family is out doing barn chores right now and they'll have a big hot breakfast when they come in which everyone really enjoys here's the breakfast all cooked up before everyone comes in and devours it so we've got our bacon and sausage our stacks of regular and chocolate chip pancakes and i'm going to serve some uh, home canned peaches along with that so it is Saturday, actually it's afternoon, it's 2 o'clock, but we had a big breakfast a little bit later today, so I wasn't ready for lunch, and I am actually home for lunch by myself today. My boys uh, went off to a raffle, which included lunch, so I get a quiet lunch on my own today.
Um, what I chose to do, this is my last can of canned potatoes. I actually did this one a couple of years ago. Um, but they're perfectly fine. So I decided to fry those up in a little bit of coffee that I made. And some onion powder, garlic salt, and parsley. And potatoes are one of my favorite foods. Um, I could just eat that, but I'm going to make myself have a salad with it. So I made a salad with some romaine lettuce. I shredded up some carrots and cut up some cucumber. And this is a homemade dressing that I just found that I really like for a lot of things actually. And all it is is maple syrup, Dijon mustard. Uh, what's the other thing? What am I missing? Maple syrup, Dijon mustard. Total mind blanked out. There's some dill in there. Oh, and I added some balsamic vinegar. So it's just those three things and then some dill, which I had dried from my garden. And that's gonna be my lunch and I'm gonna read a book while I'm eating it. <laughs>